Hey there, what is going on today? I'm going to show you how to make something like this or how to do a half tone like this. Remy, French uh, tattoo artist, uh, sent me a message, you know, like uh, if I could make uh, something like this in vectors. And the thing is, there, I couldn't find like a true solution because the whole thing basically it gets distorted when I put uh, this into a circle. So eventually, I'm gonna show you how to make a half tone about you know these interesting forms and shapes, these patterns, and eventually that half tone pattern how to um, put into a circular spiral thing like this. So yeah. Before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. All right, let's jump in. I'm gonna create a new file <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you first how to create that, um, whatever is that, that uh, interesting pattern. Uh, but first I gonna make sure you on, uh, you just put, put none on the fill and you click on the strokes or you're on the stroke right now uh, <clears throat> we're gonna create a triangle basically that's uh, that pattern is made up made out of triangles and before the triangle we're gonna make the polygon I showed you this tutorial before if you don't know how to do it you can click some somewhere here up on up on the corner but anyways I gonna do it again so so the whole idea is to create three hexagons. Um, <clears throat> I think this one won't snap right into the center. I'm gonna align it by pressing Ctrl Y, and I'm just gonna pull that right there. <clears throat> and there you go. From here, I'm gonna create the triangle inside of this. So I'm gonna press P, select the pen tool. There you go. And I'm gonna go from here to here and here. Why did I do this? Because I needed to find the central point of the triangle. <clears throat> so this is the center point of the triangle, the perfect center point. And from here, I'm going to make the central lines, basically how you saw on that pattern. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna connect these and now I can delete the hexagons from... There you go, so this is it. So we got the first shape. I'm gonna group them, of course. And now I'm gonna create the hexagon out of triangles, which basically have this kind of interesting form in it. Uh, couldn't create it, you know, just like that from a true hexagon because... because... So I just gotta go here on the rotate, click on this anchor point and just type in 60 degrees and press copy and press Ctrl D until you create enough copies so you create the hexagon. All right, you can see the edges in here. We can uh, uh, make the edges disappear. I'm just gonna click on this. Basically, this is what does. Okay. So we got this first uh, beautiful effect right here. Uh, I can scale it up, can scale it down, you know, and it's gonna, it's gonna look thicker or it's gonna look thinner. The main idea is to create two versions of these. <coughs> I'm gonna scale it up and increase the stroke. All right, um, this should be good. Now I'm gonna create a new copy somewhere here. I'm thinking to make like, uh, I don't know, five of these. And I'm gonna decrease the size on this to, uh, yeah, th this could be good. This could work out 0.5. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna go and blend it. Go to object, click blend and make. And as you can see, it didn't come out anything. So, um, let me see what is happening. Oh yeah, of course, it's not grouped. So I need to group them. So I group it, right click and here should be something with grouped. 
group so right now there you go group so i'm gonna group it i can check this is group i'm gonna check try it out again hopefully it's gonna work blend and make there you go so right now we're at six copies hmm. okay i'm thinking to reduce the number so i'm just gonna go here to the blend tool double click on it click previews specify step decrease the number to three so it's gonna be five in here because we got this and this which don't don't basically count this is what it counts what's between there and now <clears throat> i'm gonna double click on the bottom uh hexagon or you can click on this one doesn't really matter but the main idea is to press and hold shift and bring it up so these guys will connect something like this so it's gonna create a nice effect i'm gonna leave it like this so i'm gonna create a new copy and i'm gonna go and expand this one click ok now it's expanded i'm gonna expand this again go to object expand then i'm gonna unite it if you don't have the pathfinder go to uh, what is that windows and select pathfinder okay so here is the uneditable version and here is the fully edit editable version now what i'm gonna do is create a new copy gonna select the direct selection tool from here i'm gonna select some anchor points and click two times the delete button so now we just uh inverted the whole thing and now i'm gonna delete um the two sides and I'm gonna show you how. So <clears throat> I'm gonna select the rectangle tool from the menu. Make sure you're not deleting it like this. I mean, you basically need to delete a part so you can make so we can make this uh, you know become a pattern or a um, what is that a half tone and so on and so forth. So we need to cut out from here from this anchor point so i just click here and create it from here the rectangle and uh, i'm gonna go up so if you want to copy this here i don't know if it will be available you know i don't know if it will snap to the point and pixel or grid but right here it just snapped to this anchor point so we're good <coughs> I'm gonna select them all press shift plus M or you can go here and select the shape builder tool and now I just gonna press and hold shift plus alt and I'm gonna delete these just like that all right okay so this is it from this we can make the half tone effect even like this i just make it like this you know and just press ctrl d and i just did the half tone effect so this is basically the half tone effect now how i did that spiral wild thing from here i'm gonna make a brush out of this uh, pattern so open the brush here's the brush uh, you can go to windows if you don't have and select the brushes okay so select the pattern sample that you created and just drag and drop here where the brushes are and select the pattern brush and click ok <clears throat> and as you can he see here this is how it's gonna look and now click ok now we got that I'm gonna create a new artboard and I'm gonna make that here uh, okay now I'm gonna go to this where's the line segment tool and you can find here the spiral tool so I'm gonna create the spiral as you can see it doesn't have too many stuff going on here because uh, I made it like that so I just gonna press the up arrow or down arrow you know with the up and down arrow you just can add or remove um, these lines so now I got this in the correct way 
as you can see it doesn't contain any stroke or feel nothing and now I did this now I'm gonna go to the brushes and here you can see this is the brush and I'm just gonna click that um, right now it just came it, it became like pretty wild I'm gonna scale it down and from here actually I won't because uh, I'm gonna make it like this and now <clears throat> we also can adjust and manipulate these lines I mean these pattern lines by going to the strokes and selecting the stroke profile of course I'm gonna try it out with this and now it looks something like this and from here I also gonna work oh, wait a sec what if I scale this down oh there you go so basically I just need to scale it down press shift plus alt scale it down until it's gonna they're gonna touch each other like that so this is the problem here it, it gets like really distorted here it this part it's still okay it's still fine but uh, the main thing is still it's gonna get distorted as you can see for example here we got segments where they don't touch each other and how to make that happen to um, be more consistent you press shift plus M is that the no 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 shift plus W actually so it's right here the tool is right here the here the width tool um, you can find like more tutorials from this I made a tutorial like you know more detailed advanced tutorial you can find it up here somewhere in the right corner <clears throat> if you want to watch that so what this does is basically makes the stroke lines more thicker for example if I zoom in you can see if I move the mouse it creates this dot so I'm gonna put this dot to the what is that the anchor point and I'm gonna increase the thickness of this okay and it's gonna be something like this it should connect somewhere around here and now they just connect uh, I also can do it from this anchor point and just increase the thickness and mainly we got the effect of course it's distorted and all that stuff but now you also know how to make a half tone effect <clears throat> you can achieve this with different results also I'm gonna create a new one and actually that wasn't created like that I know I saw another one and it was made differently I'm gonna try this out like really quick uh, just you know to test it out see what I'm talking about I'm gonna group these eventually and uh, there was another approach basically with the effect distort transform transform click previews I'm gonna increase the number of the copies to five eventually and now I'm gonna go horizontal and now this just created a lot of copies I mean five copies and here you can see uh, <clears throat> of course the, these you still can edit these you know separately for example let's say I want to decrease uh, the, the size of the stroke so I'm gonna decrease it here and it's gonna decrease the size of the stroke in every second uh, pattern line and you also can do it basically with the second one or with this or you can make it both actually no you still need to double click another time so I'm gonna click it again and decrease that also so every, every each of those gonna get decreased as you can see this one is more like more thicker you still can adjust it accordingly you just need to click this thing appearance if you don't have the appearance go to windows and select appearance and from here you can go back to the transform options click previews and you just see uh, maybe you need like less space 
Um, so I'm gonna go 34.5. There you go. I think this is perfect. I'm gonna click OK. I'm just gonna eyeball it now to be approximately perfect, but uh, <clears throat> I think this one, like the first one, I didn't uh, match this correctly, but uh, I still can correct that by clicking on this one and just let me press control Y but they just and they connected perfectly so am I seeing correctly I don't know but anyways you kind of get the main idea how to do this stuff and from here if you got this you just go and object expand appearance and then expand again until it's gonna be full flat and it won't be editable so yeah this is how you make these interesting stuff um it's this one's still not perfect but you know if you want to make a half tone if you want to make effects like these you know the steps uh, you can leave this out it's a complex mumbo jumbo so anyways at least you know how to create the pattern brush all right thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos also and uh, subscribe have a great day bye bye